All right, we are finally back with some more Let's Play Etrian Odyssey with myself, CubixRube98. I don't know what that clattering was. I'm sorry if that was picked up on my mic. Um, yeah, so last time uh, the segment was kind of haphazardly done because of all the wolf fights and me just kind of going between all the floors to map stuff out. And yeah, it was kind of not very well done, but I'm still satisfied with the way it turned out. Anyway, so in between the segments, I grinded for a while with my gathering team to gather up these buff coats. Look at that. Plus two defense, it's only one more than the tweed, but plus three to your agility, I mean... Yeah, that's awesome. That's seriously awesome. I mean, with this... Um, remember what I said last time, level 10 bravery is faster than a regular attack. So, when Chazcat uses bravery now, that's pretty much guaranteed to pop off before anyone else, at least for a while. Um, the survivalists will sometimes be able to act before Chazcat can throw off a bravery song. And once uh, 98 starts getting the agility up skill, which we're gonna need for a few other skills, um, they'll pretty much always act first no matter what. Which makes their first turn skill rather useless. Anyway, before we go into the dungeon, there are a few things we need to do. We're gonna go to the rather the ra Jesus Christ, uh, Rada Hall. Let's report some discoveries. Monstrous Codex. You re reported your encounter with the wolf, tree rat, hare, and all these other monsters I'm not gonna name off. Yeah, um, this is how you um, clear that quest for getting all those monsters reported. So, you know, you can get a description of all these monsters, like small omnivorous rodents that will attack any threat to their territory. Now, the first two items, those are regular drops. The third item slot, see how that's a triple question mark? I don't know what that is. The third item slot is always a conditional drop, meaning that you need to defeat the enemy under certain conditions, such as beating them with an elemental attack, or when they're in, under a certain status element, or in the most egregious cases, in my opinion, starting with Etrian Odyssey 4, was that you needed to sometimes kill an enemy with curse damage. God, that was bad. Anyway, yeah, and that's how you, uh, that's how you clear this quest. We're just doing our job. Oh yeah. Apologies if you can hear me sipping my tea. I'm actually not much of a tea guy, but you know, Venti sent me some tea all the way over from Germany, so it would be rather rude of me to turn it down. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Golden Deer Pub, and let's turn in the, these quests here. We have a Shaleka 2, we get the short bow, which is now useless, because I bought two like an idiot last time. I'm sure she was, she must be quite proud of it. Alright, we will. In fact, we're gonna turn in... Huh. That's odd, I don't remember fighting any wood flies in between the two segments, but if I've cleared the quest, I've cleared the quest. If it can make other people's jobs easier, then I'll do. We'll do ours. Oh wow, a medka! I can sell that for eight and tall. And the monstrous codex is now complete. We get an extra red charm. Nice. Yeah, but it's cool. We've actually gone to the fourth floor and killed lots of wolves. Oh yes, it will. Although some of the monsters are almost impossible to figure out to encounter without some kind of guide. Anyway, so you can sell off that red charm if you don't think you'll need it. However, in this game, unlike in future e Odyssey games, characters can have multiple of the same accessory equipped. In other words, you can actually equip a red charm twice. A little bit better than the leaf boot because that now gives me another cell charge. Nice. Good stuff. Fantastic. Lucky. All the other good stuff. Anyway, going into the Yggdrasil Labyrinth, and I'm probably going to cut this out because I need to go to the second floor, but first I must take a drink. I will see you in a few. Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> I know I said I was going to go to B2F, but actually I lied. I am going to go to B5F instead. We're just going to rush right down there because there is a very important upgrade that I need to grab. 
Um, then I'll map what I can in B4F for right now. But trust me, once I get down to B5F and I've gotten the item that I, that I seek out right now... Oh, good. This is actually a good encounter. You want to encounter these guys, these claw flies here. They drop a very important item that you're going to need. Let's see your bravery, and... Eh, you can use a boost and then use a multi-hit. You're going to kind of need to find to kill this thing quick. Yeah, these guys are a little bit more than just a pallet swap version. Oh, shoot, that hurt. Um, they're a little bit more than just a pallet swap version of a claw bug. Um, in addition to having more health and defense than your average claw bug, they, um... I didn't get anything out of that. They also have different resistances. Claw bugs are vulnerable to all three elemental attacks. Claw flies are resistant to fire and physical attacks, and I believe only strictly vulnerable to ice. So if you have an alchemist, make sure they know an ice spell to be able to hurt them greatly. Or, you know, your character will be physically strong enough by this point to be able to handle claw flies. So overall, they're not that big of a deal to fight, but you're gonna need to encounter them if you want to unlock a really special sword that is the best sword for the stratum. I believe it's through here? No, I was wrong, I think. Let's see here. I'll map it out like this, and... Yeah, that should be good. Okay, back through here. Am I gonna get into an encounter with some more rude monsters? I probably am. There we go. It's another claw fly! Pretty much just annihilated that claw flight. Holy crap. <laughs> I was not expecting two hits to activate, but I got a hard shell. Lovely. Yeah, uh, the item that I'm seeking from these claw flies is called a thorn. And let me tell you, it's a real thorn in your side to get them. Because it doesn't like to drop this item. And they are the only enemy in the game which will drop this item. And you want to know how many of them you need to unlock this special sword? You need to get five of these. Yeah. They don't spawn all that frequently. And when they do, they don't drop the item that you want all that frequently. Ooh, box. What's in the box? Medka 2. That's 60 ints all. Not bad, but... Eh. Alright, let's see here. Let's continue forth. Looks like this. Yeah. I encountered four hares. It's not really an interesting encounter at this point. Hares are not the terror that they once were. They were hitting for about 17 damage earlier, but with the the um, breastplates that I picked up earlier, they now hit only for about 7 or 8 damage, and my characters have much more health than they used to have. Oh, but this actually might be worth showing off. Alright, so to start things off, let's use Defender. And let's kill the claw bugs on the side first. Let's see here, use the attack. Use, um, use a boosted bravery. Increase damage. Yeah. And you can use multi hit. Yeah, because it's like I just cast a level 15 bravery instead of a level 10 bravery. Oh, great. Just wasted the other attack. Oh, and my monitor just turned itself off because the freezer turned on. Yeah, I got a freezer in my room. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm too showing these claw bugs now. Um, I'd like to point out that without Defender, the claw bugs would probably only hit for about 10 damage. And yeah, this claw fly likes to waste its turns by binding the head of a single person. So that actually makes them a lot less dangerous than they appeared to be in that first encounter. There we go. I got two hard shells, lovely. That's three claw flies down. I don't have any thorns to show for it. Oh, I love my life. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Through this door? I don't think that the stairs are through this door. Whatever. Let's mark it anyway. 
because that's what you're supposed to do. It is a map making game after all. I actually had somebody who tried the demo for, um, I think it was Fafnir Night, and they referred to it as the map game. I was so offended. Alright, so, we're at B5M, staring down the roar. Yeah, this, if that, uh, that name, if that floor name didn't make it abundantly clear, this is where you will find Fenrir, but, um, I mean, looking at our characters right now, we are nowhere near powerful enough to defeat Fenrir. We're gonna need at least four more levels. But you can gain four more levels easily by doing the new quests that are now unlocked, since we just traversed onto B5F. Now, there are new encounters on this floor that- whoa. What on earth is going on? Okay, don't know what that was. <laughs> My computer processing and shouldn't be? Hold on. Let me just check something. Yeah, Chrome's open. Okay, let's close Chrome. Refocus the window. There we go. <laughs> wow, I'm not doing this very uh, professionally today. Alright. Um, now, there is, I think, one lone wolf patrolling this floor, but, I mean... It, you you can kind of see how easily I'll handle these wolves, because um, at the start of the last segment, I was really struggling to beat those wolves, but with my characters being really powerful now, these wolves are no problem. And in fact, encountering this wolf will be a good thing, because it resets my encounter meter. The regular encounters at this point are probably more dangerous than this wolf is going to be. Uh, you can use self, you can use bravery, and my last multi-hit. Yeah, 44 damage, whatever. I'm gonna outheal that myself. Yeah, I'm doing about twice as much damage in multi-hit now, both because it's a higher level and because um, because I have that new uh, the new bow. Now, somebody in the last segment said that I should be using cure instead of self to heal my teammates because it costs less. Um but, like I said to them, um, if this were Fafnir Knight, then that would be perfect, because the medic was really quick in that game. But, more than that, they called my launch, my launch connect the Land Shark. Let me just say, you have no idea why that's funny. No idea at all why that is funny to me. Ugh, ooh, sorry about that. Take another sip of my tea here. Okay. Now, I don't exactly remember where this chest containing the new sword is, but I'm gonna try my hardest to find it. Oh, something important just occurred to me. Do I have a warp wire on hand? I have three of them. Good, 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 good. I forgot to sell out the short bow that I got from that quest, but that's okay. If I remember correctly, the sword that I seek is in the lower right corner, so we're gonna be heading down in that direction. Let's see here. Um, no, I don't think I'm heading the right way. Let's head back for now. Let's go this way. Yes, this seems like the right way to go. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't actually shown myself being a lot more powerful since I last fought these guys because they only appear on two floors in this time, I think. Uh, B2F and this floor. Yeah, I was lucky, like, really lucky to kill one of these guys before they got a turn off. Now look at this. Okay, yeah, they still hit hard, but, you know, they're more manageable now than they were. Alright, my tea is drained. I just took a nasal decongestion. I have maybe, I don't know, 40 minutes before I just black out. So, let's hope to get a full segment in before that happens. Alright, so, let's go down this way. Um, debating whether or not to use my Amorita on Coastal right now. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Not yet. Alright. That looks good. Alright, let's head back to the other place. Aw, oh, man. Oh! Oh goodness, this is gonna be bad. All right, boost, boost and attack. You just attack, um, attack. Not, not, not items. Bravery, and I don't have multi hit anymore. Shoot, 
Um, okay, let's hope I can kill this thing. Come on, do it. I'm not gonna cause anyone near enough. Yeah, that's bad. Oh boy, that's bad. Ah, oh, so close. Come on, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yes, all right. Yeah, it's the normal enemy version of that Cayutha from B3F. And like the Cayutha, they can drop metal horns. However, the Cayutha drops a much more rare and interesting item called a large fang. Um, two hit doesn't need to be increased anymore. So what we are going to get next is All Slash. A sword skill that hits a group of enemies two to four times. In the Japanese version, it was called Triple Slash, I think. How Triple Slash became All Slash, I will never know. But it doesn't matter, because this is the Launch Connect's best general skill. <laughs> That's right, Sword Launch Connects are better in this game. Um, let's see here. Coastal, you'll get another rank in Healer. That's good. Chazcat, you will get another rank in TP Up. That actually does give you a bonus for now. 98, multi-hit. And let's see here. Yeah, let's use the Emery down Coastal. And the Medkit 2 can be used on Venti. Just as a free heal. It's 60 Entel, but whatever. I can get unlimited money just by using the Chop Spot at the very beginning. It doesn't accumulate money very fast at this point, but it's something you can work with. If you find yourself out of money and in need of a warm wire, or if you need to earn some more money to stay at the inn, well, I mean, if you're in that dire straits, uh, I don't really know what to tell you then. But anyway, yeah, just use the chop spot if you need some emergency funds. Okay, looks like this. And let's continue. Oh, man. Oh, goodness, another one? Oh, great. I don't have the boost to help me out this time. I can't use the boost to get through. Ugh. Come on, two hit, proc. No two hit, but I got a critical. That's good too. Ah, 50 damage. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. Alright, defend. Salve. Attack and attack. Come on. Take that! Alright. See here, coastal. You can use salve. Good. That still heals enough to completely patch up any damage that Warble is going to do. Now, if you think one Warble is bad, that is not the worst encounter on this floor. There is an encounter with two of them. I'm not kidding. And there's not really much to prevent them from hitting the same person twice. Boar Spear, yes! That is exactly the item I came down here for. Alright. Now we're in business. Now this Hand Axe, 18 attack. This Boar Spear, 32. 32. Look at the attack increase on that. You thought Venti was hitting hard earlier with that hand axe. You haven't seen anything yet. And now, the best part, they can use all slash with this. Yeah. Now, it's called a spear, but I think that's just a poor translation. Um, I think in future e Odyssey games, it's called the Sawschwartz. So I'm pretty sure Schwartz is German for sword, but I don't know what that first part means, so... Yeah, but anyway, we're about to see the, this awesome power in action. Just watch the awesomeness of this. All slash. Go. Kill. Bravery and attack. Alright, good. Good stuff. 100 damage. Yeah, that thing is powerful. Though not as powerful as that Warbolt hitting 98 for 53 damage. Oh, they hit a backline class, so that's not... It's still a wound that I should patch up, but, you know, whatever, right? Anyway, so, let's go Coastal and use South. There we go. Custom, 98. Oh, wait, no, not 98. Cubics! I'm getting these two confused because, you know... Yeah, anyway... Another ranking defender. We're almost a level 10 defender. We only got three more levels to go. We'll have level 10 defender just in time to fight Fenrir. Well, it might be... We might be level 16, depending on how much I want to do. Alright, so... Let's go like this. And let's go up. Yep, like that. 
Ooh. I believe this is mining? Yes, it is. This is the first mining point that we've seen all game. Yeah, so that mining quest that we got earlier, this is where you can go to complete it. But the problem is that you're you're dragging somebody with a mine skill this far down into the labyrinth. Ooh, this encounter. I think this encounter actually gives more experience than anything else in the, in the entire first stratum. However, um... It's difficult to survive, particularly if you don't have enough to use Defender, as I currently don't. So, we're gonna try our hardest. Alright, let's go. Yeah, big ouch. That's okay, though, because we have all Slash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. That hit three people. That's not guaranteed to hit three people at, um, level one. And don't go thinking of Venti's regular attacks or anything to sneeze at either. At level 1, all slash only does a little more damage than a regular attack. Yeah, see? I got a hard shell. Wow, that is four of those things down. I'm still only getting hard shells. Great. Yeah, it's not like in Millennium Girl where these guys could only drop thorns. And you also needed fewer thorns in order to make that thing. Yeah, in case you're curious, the boar spear is made from those thorns. Okay, so we're back on um, B4F, but unfortunately, since everybody's kind of um, winded right now, I need to go back to um, Talatka. So, uh, yeah, that's not really going to be super fun. Anyway, let's go through this door. Hey, there's a chest in here. Let's see here. Okay, room looks like this. Treasure box. In case you're curious, no, there are no shortcuts on this floor. You have to walk around everything, and it sucks. I actually have a funny feeling that they meant to put a shortcut somewhere in here, and they just forgot to. Yeah, like here, no shortcut. Here, no shortcut. Here, no shortcut. Yeah, like I said, I think that it was intended for there to be a shortcut there, and they just forgot to put it in. Because, look how much I gotta walk. It's a little ridiculous. Oh, goodness. Not this encounter again. Well, we've got the power of all slash, though. Venti is strong when they use their TP. Yeah, take that. Ha <laughs> Try and find Venti's head. They don't even use their head. They only know sword. And maybe axe, but they don't know any skills of axe. And there we go. That's another encounter done with. Now, thankfully, my medic does still have a little bit of TP left, so I can go a little bit further. Yeah, not a whole lot, though. Yeah, this just looks like this. So, yeah. Figure this encounter... This encounter... The rest of the segment will probably just be mapping, honestly. Because I'm nowhere near powerful enough to defeat Fenrir in my current state. Yeah, that wolf there, that wolf is going to die for uh, much-needed EXP infusion. Another claw fly. Cutting this one out, I'm sure. Well, actually, no. This one might be interesting to show because I'm all out of um, TP on everybody. Yeah. Just to kind of show what it's like to kill them without any skills. Oh, yeah, uh, I think <laughs> I think this one's a keeper for sure now. Oh, man. <laughs> one. Hey, I got a thorn. Way to go, Coastal. Intense pain. <laughs> Intense pain helps us find rare drops. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see here. Goes like this, and there we go. Okay, um, probably just gonna cut it out until I come back here after getting back from my little rest with Talaka. Okay, and we are back. Back on B4F, where we are doing some more mapping. 
Now, unfortunately, besides that claw fly, there isn't really much in the way of new encounters here, so I'm probably just gonna be editing just about all of them out. You've seen the claw fly, you've seen a claw fly in two claw bugs, you've seen a claw fly in three rollers, you've seen... Well, actually, there's one more encounter involving a claw fly on B5F, I believe, that is two claw flies and two rollers. I think that's the only encounter where you can get two claw flies. Potentially two thorns, although, with my luck, it would be two hard shells. Or two instances of nothing. Anyway. One thorn, I think, is enough to get the best bow for this stratum, but you still need a special drop from the Cayutha or the Fury Horn. They drop an item called a Large Fang, and that sells for more money than anything else in this stratum. Uh, except for, um... Except for the items dropped by that red FOE that was chasing us on B3F. I got a Bravins out of that chest. I'm just gonna sell that for, like, 240 yen all. Actually, if it's a Bravin 1, I think that only sells for about 80. Still, that's worth it. Oh, before I go any further, let me check my inventory. 49 items. Oh, man. That's alright, I can just sell off. I can just um, throw away cheap stuff, like the small fangs and soft hides. Alright, through this door. Oh, and in case you're wondering, no, the protector cannot equip an axe. Oh, I lied. This is actually a mine spot right here. I can't believe I missed this. No, the protector cannot equip an axe in this game. That was not until um, Fafnir Knight which was released in 2015, about eight years after this game. And even then, I believe you needed to download the Highlander DLC for them to be able to equip them for some reason. Which was stupid. But anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah, protectors were pretty cool in that game because their shield skills were more like a temporary barrier, as opposed to this very broken defender skill, which you put up once, and it lasts for about five turns. Reduces physical damage by some like 80% I think at level 10 And let's see here is this another mind spot? All right, let's check out what kind of item point we got here Park that and it's a mining point <clears throat> now At the mining point I believe you can get pyroxene um, and a white stone I forget what the third item is you can get from this from this mining spot, but yeah um, doesn't really matter much, because I don't think Pyroxene and White Stones unlock anything at all. Which is kind of unfortunate. But, whatever. Let's just keep going until we get to the spot with that wolf. Alright, like this. And let's keep going. The wolf is through that door. Don't want to get into an encounter beforehand, which actually I might not. No, I did not. Awesome. Oh, and um, all slash can actually be used in place of a regular attack now because it actually does a bit more damage than your regular attack. At level 10, I think it does twice as much damage. Three hits? No three hits. Damn it. Yeah, 93. They were doing about, what, 35 earlier? Yeah, 93 damage. That's ridiculous. And I get two hit. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, uh, looks like that. Oh! Just pressed one of the buttons on my mouse again. I did it again, just like, like two seconds ago, I think. Oh, I don't need to mark this in the memo. What am I doing? I obtained a breastplate. I forgot that was there, but that's okay. It's only 250, that's all. Um, let's see here. You sell, and there we go. I like this game so much, and yet I always forget about these items, but I never forget about that boar spear. Because that thing is just so awesome. How could you forget about it? Alright, let's see here. Okay, I lied. Fenders can also be found on this floor. <clears throat> that fender was was accompanied by two venom flies. So yeah, nothing really too special, honestly. Alright. And 
let's take a look at our map for this floor. Hey, I'd say this floor is looking pretty complete. Look at that. Well, there's a tiny bit over here, but let's just, uh, oh, whoops. Don't need to do that. Let's go like that, and there we go. Yeah, we'll just say it's like that. Yeah, don't get any funny ideas about all the space over here. I don't think this space is ever used in this game. So yeah, that's just kind of super fun. Alright, let's go back up to B3F and get healed by Talatka. We'll finish up our map here. Good to go. Let's see here. Just a couple more places left on the map I have not mapped out yet. <clears throat> Alright, that's another annoying encounter done with. Just another claw bug and two mandrakes. Okay, through this door. Yeah, like that. There is a resource point through here. Is a take point. I do not have the taking skill, or any resource gathering skill for that matter. But I'll mark this anyway. May as well. Alright. Perfect. This occurred to me that while I was in town, I should have finished up the other quest for that was calling for an alchemist, but I'll I'll just do that. I'll do that when I get back up there. Okay, now, going for that treasure chest. Don't do it unless you're prepared. I'd say I'm looking pretty prepared. The cubics isn't at full health, but that doesn't really matter. Because an FOE appears behind you. It's a Fury Horn, or Regilope, depending on uh, which e train Odyssey game you're playing, and which region of it you're playing. You get 500 Entol out of the deal. Money is good. Money is always good. Rageolope has appeared. Defender. Boost. All slash. Let's see here. You can use... Um, let's go with salve. You use boost. And then bravery. You use boost. <laughs> Everybody uses boost. And then multi-hit. It's going for a scream, isn't it? Yep. No effect on that. Good. Whew, that's a sweat drop moment right there. And that pretty much killed it right there. I think it has 330 health, and I just dealt 230 damage. Yeah, I... That boar spear, I tell ya. That boar spear in the short bow. Oh, man. It's nice to have characters that can really kill things, huh? And there we go. It's another Rage of down. I still did not get the item I need. I did not get Large Fang. That's unfortunate, but oh well. Let's just keep going. Because <clears throat> what else can I do? Okay, let's continue. Not really sure how to resume the segment after an encounter, but I try. Okay. Looking good. Yeah, this map's almost complete. Oh, I thought I should point something out right now. Is um, when a character is confused and they hit another character, they are affected by your buffs, as well as any equipment you happen to have. So yeah, Venti with that boar spear. If they were confused and they hit somebody, you'd be feeling it. They'd actually hit for more damage than that uh, rage lope would. And that's why the rage lope is, in my opinion, the hardest FOE for the stratum. Sure, the wolf hits a little harder, the Cayutha has more HP, but the Cayutha is weak to pierce attacks, so it's not that bad. And the wolves, I mean, they have low health, so it doesn't really matter. I have no throwaway items. That's uh, so sad. But, whatever. Okay, let's go through the secret passageway, and we'll finish up our map of B3F. Man, we're just really cranking out these finished maps, aren't we? And I think during the time in between segments, I'm going to be grinding for a couple of thorns. Well, I say a couple of thorns, but I actually mean about four of them. 
Oh, and I said that I'd be finishing up the map for B3F, but actually I don't think that's going to be happening because, um... Is that door up there? That door is extremely dangerous to go through. In fact, I probably won't be going through that for quite some time. Like, probably not until, um... Probably not until well into the second stratum. Because there are two of those red FOEs in there, and I never quite figured out how to dodge them. I always just defeated them. And by that point, the loot that you find in there is just obsolete. Oh, ending out this battle. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but I think that my map of B3F is looking pretty complete. So let's see here, B3F is done, B4F is done, and B2F looks uh, pitiful to say the least. Now let's look at B5F. Well, no, not bad considering the time I spent down there. Alright, so yeah. Don't, don't think I'm going to be doing any more dungeon crawling in this segment, but that's okay, we got a whole bunch of stuff done. Let's use the warp wire and get out of here. All right, first stop, Shalaka's goods. So we can sell off all that. We can sell off our bloody harvest. Ooh, Bravin sells for 240 yen. all. Probably thinking of later games in which the Bravin sells for nearly nothing. Sell the medka, Thrika A. So that's useless. Um, hand axe, sell that off now. Short bow, sell that. Plate, leaf boot, horns. Yeah, just sell everything. No reason to hold on to it unless it's for a quest, which none of this stuff is, I can tell you that. And we probably get nothing unlocked. Nope, nothing. But that's okay. It means we don't have to spend any more money. It means we can save our money for more expensive stuff. Okay, so the Explorer's Guild. Let's register an alchemist. Let's see here. Dry Bones, one of Chad's cat's friends. And they are the Alchemist. We're gonna go with that portrait. No, let's not register another adventure. And the freezer turned off, so my monitor just flickered again. Alright, let's see here. Go into formation. Dry bones. Confirm this. Let's see here. Go into custom. Fire up. Fire is now available, and they are gonna get to learn the fire skill. Kindred's Alchemist has learned level 1 fire. Good. Poor results. Who knows what this fire is being created with? Like I said in the last segment, I wouldn't want to eat any meat cooked with a chemical fire. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that hard. It only requires two points, and you're given three when you create a new adventure. <laughs> Seriously. Anything new? Nope. No new quest for B5F. I lied. I apologize. Yeah, those last two quests are just not really fun to do. Let's go back to the Adventurer's Guild and get everything sorted again. And there we go. Okay, uh, go back to the Rooster Inn. Sleep off for... 10 hours. Nice. Save the game. And I'm going to cut it right here. I hope you guys have a nice night, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.